Am I just like banging my ship on everything right now? I don't know. I don't even have to drive- Oh god. We're fine, we're fine. We're probably a little bit too shallow right now is what's going on. But we're almost home. We're almost home. Day is breaking, how fitting. Oh, that's so useful. Holy crap. Should've used that earlier. But I'm glad we made it okay anyway. Oh yeah, the wreck scanning. This is still scanning. Is there anything here? We could have a quick look. Why not? I don't think so though. This is one of the really shallow wrecks. Oh, sand sharks. What a nice familiar sight you are. Much prefer you to some other stuff that we've seen so far. Oh. Holy frick. That's dark. Okay. Gasopods! Hey everybody! I'm I'm home. We're coming from a different direction than the one we left in. So it might be kinda... I might have to make like a turn around because it's deeper here. I just wanna go home. That's all. I feel like we have better success when we go slow. When we go fast, like ever since I've been going slow, the captivating thing hasn't been happening, and nothing has been on fire. Speaking of which, we should definitely craft that fire suppression module too. Once we get home, we're so close. We are so close. Oh, this might be a little bit too shallow. <laughs> oh. Uh... Gasopod, move! The warning comes up pretty quickly. Oop! Yeah, it's really shallow here, but it's still okay. It's not ideal. Oh, look at that! A reef back! It's like sticking out. That's so cool. Home sweet home! Oh lord, oh lord. Okay, I'm not really caring about the bangs that much because I feel like I learned that they don't really affect... Okay, we're kind of tilted, but look at that. It doesn't really affect the ship anyway. It's fine. It can take a beating. It's a submarine. It's not like a... Oh, am I stuck? I may be stuck. I may be a little bit stuck. Right before getting home, really? Don't do this to me. Don't do this. Oh my freaking god. Oh, okay, well, uh... Uh... We're fine, we're fine. There you go, there you go. Here we go. Alright, okay. Okay. Oh. Well... <laughs> we're still, uh... I, I think we're fine, though. We're fine. Let me reorganize then. Get the stuff off the ship and... We'll take a look at what we can make. This corner is a physical manifestation and represents how I feel right now. I've been trying to move stuff in and out of the Cyclops, in and out of the lockers here, and everything is a mess. There's stuff everywhere, basically. But we're gonna try to... We're gonna try to make do and see how it works out. First of all, we've got some alien eggs here. I don't know what any of them are. This one I'm thinking is probably an ampeel because it looks kind of ampeely and we found it in that place. These guys? Yeah, I guess we'll hatch them. They look pretty interesting, but do I want to hatch all of my eggs at once? I think this might be crash fish because I found one outside earlier and it was next to a crash fish. Mm, let's do it one at a time. Sure. Speaking of growing babies and all that, look! They've grown up! 
You're so much bigger now. I kind of feel bad though because it's been stuck in this tank for its entire life and I wasn't even there to watch you grow up. I feel so bad. Hi. Are you like a kid now or like an adult? I don't even know. Do I want to pick you up? Oh god. Aggressive eel-like organism. Raise in containment. Well, uh... I'm gonna put down some eggs here. You're not gonna eat them, right? Is that okay? Because you're raising captivity and all that? But you can see them already. Look at them. They're basically already there. I don't think we've seen this fish around. I mean, I don't recognize it. It's got these huge bulgy eyes and they look so cute already. <laughs> don't eat them, okay? They're your new brother and sister. And to appease you, since it looks so plain in here, I thought I would bring you a jelly shroom. Recreate your old environment a little bit. Although we haven't even seen it before, so technically you wouldn't care anyway. But hey, okay? Just have fun. Be happy, everyone. Let's be happy and get along. I was thinking, since this is an aquarium anyway, is it possible for us to just stuff a bunch of shiny peepers? These are all shiny, I'm pretty sure. And you're not gonna eat them, right? Okay. These are the ones that we found on the last trip. It's not the ones from my tank, so if all goes well here, maybe I'll bring everybody here. Oh yeah, yeah, when you let them swim around, you get to see the shininess a lot more. Cool. All right, okay. Well, hopefully these guys will have a fun time growing up. Oh, that little jelly shroom, look at that, it's so small. Yeah, maybe I should bring my other ones here right away. Well, we'll have a trial period, okay? I don't want them to all die because this guy grows up later on and kills everybody or something. <laughs> okay, so what did I do this whole time? Outside, on the ruined foundation, I decided to grow some stuff here. A lot of stuff, actually. We've got some jelly shrooms, we've got some gel sacks, membrane tree because I can, and then the deep shrooms that we found in the bloody oil place, I think. Yeah, we only picked up three, but if I'm not going to go back there, I mean, it's kind of hard to reach anyway, so probably a good one to grow around me. And then some random stuff. Rogue cradle, or rouge cradle, brain coral. I feel like using the brain coral as a way to get back oxygen in places where we normally can't get many or get that much oxygen. This might be a valid plan. We would need an exterior grow bed everywhere, but mm, it takes a while for the brain coral to grow. That's the one bad thing. Blood oil and a creep vine because I was too lazy to walk over there to get some. <laughs> Probably I'm gonna dismantle the one that I have over here sometime, but for now it's it's still there. Yes, and then the next thing I did was inside here, you may have realized that at the top, we have a lot more power now. And why is that? That's because I finally looked into the thermal plant power generation, which is this line here. This is the thermal one, not the nuclear one or the bio one. And it's pulling power from the hole that's next to me. Yeah, the steaming hole right here. And basically what I did was, <laughs> it nearly killed me actually. I went down all the way to the very bottom where the lava is, and I stuffed a thermal plant there. We can actually take a look here, but it is dangerous though, because I really nearly died trying to do this. Even though I have the suit that says it's like, you know, for extreme temperatures, we still can't stand next to the lava. But here? There's a degree here. And there's a bunch of like dead peepers and whatever too. So yeah. It seems like even this spot is not the hottest. Because that bar isn't completely filled out. But for my energy purposes, I'm pretty sure this works out completely fine. I connected the power source to a power transmitter here. And then another one over here. And then this one, it goes through the wall directly all the way to my base. Which is pretty cool. I tried building around the cave and all that, but it's not even necessary. All I gotta do is have one there and the line goes straight through. Okay. And then of course... The next big thing we have to do today is build the vehicle station. If we can just go back here. This doesn't even depend on the time of day, so I feel like my power problems, at least for this space, is completely solved. 
Okay. Yeah, I have the base built already. If we can just complete it. The vehicle upgrade console. It's kind of mysterious when you're building it, because it's like, why is it facing that way? Oh! I'm missing copper wire. Why don't I have copper wire? No, I do have some somewhere. Just not right in front of me, probably. Got you, got you. There you go. Prawn suit docked. Okay, so it uh, it knows what I have in the moon pool. Oh, and I can change the name just like with the the Cyclops and whatever too. That's nice. Okay, good. Okay, well, uh, uh, oop. I've actually been having a bug with the naming stuff though for the Cyclops. Actually, can you see it right now? Not right here. I don't know why, but every time I play the game, the name resets. So I've actually just been renaming the Cyclops every single time I play, but uh, hopefully it's not gonna happen here. I kinda doubt it though, because I feel like it's a bug I have with my game for some reason. Anyway, Prawn Suit? I got a very good suggestion for the name of my Prawn Suit on Twitter, and I'm gonna use it. <coughs> okay, I'm happy with the colors for now and everything. Okay. Oh, but of course, the important thing about the vehicle upgrade console is not the name, but this part. Here, we can make all sorts of upgrade modules. So maybe we'll have a quick look at the blueprints right now. We had so many when we came back. Mm, we can make polyaniline now. Hydrochloric acid comes from the deep shrooms I'm growing outside. So we can make this. We can make this. And then what else is new? I still haven't dug into the nuclear reactor stuff yet, but the thermal plant seems easy enough. And I'm guessing it's the one that I have to do the least babysitting for? Because the nuclear reactor and the bioreactor, both of them, I gotta feed them with food, right? Stuff, reactor rods, bio-organic material and all that. We got a still suit, which reclaims moisture from the body and provides clean, drinkable water. Nice! And we can make it, but I'm not sure if it's my biggest priority, because this one feels like it's probably better. Especially if we're going to hot places. We can make it sometime, but it's not... I'm not gonna look too deep into it right now. Still haven't tried the creature decoy? Still haven't tried the graph trap? One of these days. Mmm, Sea Moth Death Module Mark 2. Mark 3. Right now we have Mark 1 already. That's the one we found on the Aurora. Prawn Suit Death Module Mark 2. Mmm, okay, okay. Oh, and then we also got some, you know, Cyclops Death Modules. Oh, okay. I actually didn't see this until now. This is for the modification station, not for the one in front of us, actually. We have a whole bunch of upgrades. Yeah, like so many. And remember how when we were driving, actually we can get into the prawn suit right here. <laughs> you can see the name already. Right, so there's only like slots for four upgrades at the bottom, which means I don't think we can make every possible upgrade and just stuff it in. We have to think about what we want. So what do I want for the prawn suit? The arms? At the very minimum. Grappling? Drill or torpedo? Ah, uh, we should probably make all three, I feel like, and then try to, like, use them. We can swap them on the fly, can't we? Fire is a grappling hook for enhanced environmental traversal. This might mean that my... my jumping troubles aren't going to be a trouble anymore. Prawn suit drill arm enables a mining of large resource deposits. So this is probably when we see the big blocks that we can't do anything about. Torpedo Arm. Standard payload delivery system adapted to fire torpedoes. This is an aggressive one. Hmm. Would be good for situations like last time with a squid, where we can just make them go away. And for torpedoes, we can make Vortex Torpedo. Localized Gravity Distortion. Or Gas Torpedo. Which hurts them, I guess? Can I make one of each? Or two of each, I guess? Seems kind of aggressive, though. Usually these days, I just try to run away or stasis rifle people, so not sure if it's really going to be my style, but hey. 
Hull reinforcement for both the Seamoth and Prawn preemptively hardens the chassis before collision. Okay, storage module. We already have this. Can we have more than one storage module on a vehicle? I'm actually not sure. Recycles heat byproduct. Ah, uh, not my biggest problem. I've never had a situation where I ran out of energy for either a vehicle. But if we can't make it, then I guess why not? Copper wire yet again. Okay. Yeah, polyaniline. That's the one that comes from HCL, from the deep shrooms. Sea moth modules. Sea moth solar charger recharges the sea moth while in sunlight. I don't think this is going to be that big of a problem. If it's going to take up one slot, I'd honestly rather carry a power cell. Yeah, because if I have two power cells, that's going to last me so long already. But the sea moth perimeter defense system, this sounds interesting, generates a localized electric field designed to ward off aggressive fauna. And you can also do a torpedo system for the sea moth. Which, again, seems kind of aggressive. Uh, can we put all this in? Do we even have this room? There's five modules here. The sea moth has room for four, I think. So we'll just skip out on the solar one and do every other one. Solar or sonar? Uh, well, I'll make this one first. And then... Thank God I have a fabricator here, huh? Don't have to walk all the way back. I actually wasn't planning on upgrading the Seamoth today because I misread it and I didn't realize we had the depth modules. So I'm kind of working on the fly here. Let's go out. Okay, wiring kit. Wiring kit. Silver ore. I'm very, very rapidly running out of titanium. Like, there's not many- there's not that much metal salvage around me anymore. Gosh, everything needs titanium, basically. Uh, what am I making? <laughs> what am I making? The perimeter system? Wait, did I make it already? Gotta keep track. Oh, I have so much stuff here. I don't think I made it. I made the sonar. And the torpedo. Yeah, the perimeter system. Okay, well, let me go and grab the sea moth, maybe. Welcome aboard, Captain. It's over here. You, I can change the name of too, right? If I park you... Yeah, that's probably what it is. I don't know why, though. The name's not sticking, and even right now, the Cyclops, I haven't renamed it yet, so it probably is the same way. Hmm. Oh, no! Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, but the storage module is already one slot. So we really have to, like, think about what we really want then. Defense system. Hull reinforcement. Energy efficiency. The sea moth is really fast. It's really easy for us to bang on stuff. So, okay. Sure. And then the module. Uh, well, so we can't have the sonar then. I definitely want a storage system. Mm, I guess it's okay, because the sonar... Well, the sonar, we have one on the Cyclops anyway. Yeah. Okay. So what I'll do is... Oh, jeez, oh, jeez! Whoa, 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 whoa! I was gonna put you in the storage here. Oh, I didn't realize we had stuff here! Oh... If we lose a sea moth, though, all of this will go down with it. Should I really put everything in here? Uh, maybe, maybe not. The mod station. If we can make the sea moth go deeper, that'd be excellent. Fin upgrade. Oh, there's so many upgrades here. Ma oh no! Magnetite! Oh, you're joking me. I'm missing... I have everything but magnetite. Ah, uh, give me... More than one second. Got some magnetite. Went back to the jelly shroom caves just now. Sea moth 
Depth Module Mark II, and I can directly make a Mark III. If I had a Plasteel Ingot! <laughs> ah! Every time I try to get prepared, I'm always missing something new. Probably because a lot of these ingredients, they need a lot. So I have one Plasteel Ingot, but then two recipes need it, and I feel like, oh, okay, so I have enough. But, you know, when I actually make the stuff, I don't. Is probably what's happening here. But once we get the drill arm installed in the prawn suit though, I feel like probably our resources... How much does it give anyway? We don't know. Finding one of those big deposits. Sea Moth Adept Module Mark III. How much is this? Mark III. 900 meters! Mmm. You know, I was using this to gather some resources, and it's so easy to forget how good this was when I've been using the prawn suit for a while. This is very nice and durable, but the sea moth is so much faster, and now, right now, they're equals in terms of depth. That probably won't be the case once I add some modules here, though. So where was I? Where was I here? I made some prawn suit upgrades. I can put them in. I've got four slots. Wait, so this has a... This one doesn't even, even need a storage module then. Oh! Hey! You're a cuttlefish? I can scan you, right? can scan you. Oh. Oh, your legs are kind of... I mean, no offense, but you kind of look cuter when you were inside the egg. <laughs> cuttlefish, a small gray-colored herbivore. The cuttlefish displays high levels of intelligence, curiosity, and attachment. Strangely, this species has not yet been encountered in the wild, and the scanned specimen had to be artificially hatched within an alien containment unit. Number one, life cycle. In the absence of wild specimens, little can be known for certain about the cuttlefish's life cycle. It's possible that the environmental conditions have changed, forcing the species to extinction, the edge of extinction, and leaving its eggs in permanent stasis. It's also possible the cuttlefish has been genetically altered, or even imported to the planet from another world. Behavior. We do know that the cuttlefish is a herbivore which displays highly social behavior in its interspecies interactions, as was observed in Earth dolphins before their extinction. This creature seems to understand the concept of other minds, the prime indicator of true sentience, and attempts to communicate with a series of chirps and chirps. What? True sentience? Interaction. Evidence suggests the cuttlefish is capable of understanding and following simple commands, in addition to assessing the emotional state of individuals around it and responding in kind. Assessment. Emotional connection between living creatures is an essential component of psychological health. Oh. Your name is Cuttlefish. Do, do you cuddle? Oh, not the knife, not the knife. Hi! Do you... do you want to talk? Oh god. I hate picking them up. It feels so... feels so rude. Okay, be free, be free. Wow, it's getting really crowded here. Even the jelly shroom is so big now. Okay, well, have fun everybody. Have fun and be friends. Don't be a stranger. And definitely don't be an enemy or a predator. Okay. Was I looking at the prawn suit? I don't even know what I was doing anymore. They're so cute. The legs kind of caught me a little bit off guard. <laughs> sea moth. Okay, engine efficiency module for the prawn. Honestly, I don't feel like energy is an issue. As long as we go back to the Cyclops every now and then. Prawn suit grappling. Okay, so we have two hands. Why do we only have two hands? We can have three. Let's try drill and grappling. Torpedo we should understand, but it's so... We need to understand it before we use it, though. We can't just stuff it in there and be like, Hey, I hope this works later on, and I don't really know how to use it. But for now, we'll go with that. Okay. 
So the rest of it I'll put in the storage. Torpedoes. And an arm. Fine. Now the prawn suit also has a depth module I can make, I'm assuming. Yes. Oh, but we can't make it because I don't have a nickel ore. I've never seen this before. Nickel ore. Thermal reactor. We haven't seen kyanite yet. And same thing for the jump jet upgrade. No nickel ore. No crystalline sulfur. I have sulfur. Don't know how to get crystalline sulfur. So that's pretty much it for now then. Okay. Well, what about the Cyclops? We don't make the upgrades here. There's some common modules. Or maybe I go back to the mod station? Yeah, there's my other fish here. Yeah, if you all play nicely, maybe I'll just move all of you upstairs. Exosuit upgrades. Yeah, well, we don't... We don't have the nickel ore. Cyclops upgrades. The Cyclops depth can also be increased, but we need the first one right now. Mark 1, which I believe we do have. But we don't have nickel ore. Same issue again. Okay. Fin upgrade. We got the thing that makes it so that we can wirelessly charge our tool while I swim. But what's the energy coming from? Just me flapping around? Ah, uh, we could make it. But do I value this over the ultra glide fins? I feel like no. Yeah, because I can just bring an extra battery and then... Yeah. Mm, so I guess I'm okay for now. Was there anything else new in the blueprints? 99.9% .9 of the new blueprints we got was just upgrades. Basically. Oh, the Cyclops has a whole bunch. Yeah, this one we can make. Mark 1, but not 2 or 3. The shield. Shield generator. Sonar. We already have this one. Fire. We can't do this one. No sulfur. We can make a decoy tube upgrade. We don't have any decoys. Can't do this one. We have polyaniline, but not kyanite. We can make a water filtration machine. Right here. Or make it on the cyclops. Yeah, because here I'm not really worried about water. Maybe I'll I'll try making it up there, but do I have space? That might be an issue too. We can make this stuff too. I just don't need to right now, so I'm putting it off. That's all. There's so many things to look at. Yeah, okay, why don't we begin with... Uh, where was the... Water filtration machine? Another copper wire? Okay, we do have one radio message that's been waiting for me for a while. This is Life Pod 2 coordinates attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. CTOU, Chief Technical Officer used life pod, sunk 500 meters before she abandoned it. Well, this is the last life pod we have, right? For now. For now. The next step of what we're trying to look for is probably going to be try to find the new resources so we can go deeper. And then try to look for the alien facilities. These things, probably we'll be able to find some facilities now and then, you know, find some upgrades while we're at it. Okay. Over there? Do we know much about what's over there? Mm, the turret island was like here, so this is kind of like around... Oh! Yes, you! <laughs> the Gary Fish! Sorry, I completely forgot about you again. This was the guy I was talking about that was in the scanner room. So they were floating around here for a while, and I guess they found their way into the plant room. Yeah, I don't know how they got inside, they're just... They swim like they're still outside too, that's the best part. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I, um... We've kind of been over there before? Not really, though. Today might be a good day to just bring the sea moth in. But the sea moth... I still want to bring the cyclops, though, because having it enables us to stay outside for a lot longer. Oh, I forgot why I came down there. I wanted to eat something. 
I think we're just about ready to go out after I check my batteries and all that. And I also realized earlier I was talking about the name issue, but maybe it's not an issue after all. Uh, hold on, let me... So today I'm not gonna bring the prawn suit. Let's bring the Seamoth. Welcome aboard, Captain. Go right in. I always thought the name was bugged up because every time I go here... Yeah, it says click to edit and then like... My old name is not here anymore. But then earlier I just realized that in the beacon... In the beacon, it has it properly. So maybe it's always been okay. I just thought it didn't work because it didn't say it here. And all the colors seem to have reset it again and all that. But it works fine actually. If that's the case, that is totally fine. We can make some upgrades here, can't we? No, on the other side. Oh, there's no room for us to make anything here. Shield generator. That's probably a good one. Creates a temporary barrier around the sub, rendering it invulnerable for a brief time. We haven't tried using these decoys yet, but if I can make it, sure. Yeah, the rest of this, some of it I definitely want, but I don't know how to make it. The fire suppression system, that'll be good. Okay. Oh, God. Stick it right here. Oh, frick, there's a really important thing I just remembered I completely forgot about. I completely ignored the power cell charger. Well, we don't want to build it here. I've been ignoring it because I've been using the... I didn't want to do it off screen and I've been using the moon pool to charge my power cells. So that's why I just completely forgot about it. Mm, do you fit here? What's the requirements? Do I have it? Oh, I need a... Um, habitat builder. Power cell charger. Uh, yes, I can make it. Just... Give me a second. God, always missing this and that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're close to running out of power ever again for this base. That's really good. Okie dokie. Oh, you're huge! Well, where am I gonna put you? <laughs> right here? Oh, here? I mean, I guess. You can't get everything looking all nice and fancy. Okay. But right now I don't need it, because I'm pretty sure all of my power cells are charged. I don't even have any here, because I put them all back on the Cyclops already. Yeah, so are we, are we ready to go? Should probably bring some spare batteries, just in case. Mmm, some water. Sea Moth Torpedo. Yeah, I think we're good. I don't know why I have an I.I. here. Let's go over there today, then. Just trying to think, is there anything I'm missing? I don't think so. Anything I need to bring here? Not really. If I bring a gel sack and a deep shroom, I can start growing it on the Cyclops, too. But we're not at that point right now, I don't think. I don't use the Fabricator on the Cyclops too much, anyway. Welcome aboard, Captain. Mm, I made an extra locker online. here, but for the most part, there was just all sorts of random stuff lying around everywhere. Yeah, maybe I'll put these in the first locker right here so it's more convenient to reach. Repulsion cannon, stasis rifle, got an extra one. Sea glide. Well, I first of all, I gotta change out the battery. But the rest of this is... Okay, flashlight I'm a little bit worried about. It's a little bit... Yeah. But if I build a battery charger here... I guess I could. I don't think it's necessary, though. Let's try to keep the clutter down. Scanner. Flashlight. Knife. Stasis rifle. Repulsion cannon. I think we're fine. Stasis rifle and repulsion cannon, these things... 
Probably one or the other is enough for me. Probably, most of the time. I'm actually just gonna switch out the Seaglide battery right here. So we don't have to worry about it later on. Okay. Let's set off then. In the Cyclops. So that's the shield, I guess. Oh yeah, I kind of parked it really messed up last time. How often can I activate it? Let me try. Probably uses the battery quite a bit. Oh! Damn! Oh! <gasps> okay, don't use that often then because that- Oh, my battery just went down by 10%, holy crap. Okay for us for now, but jeez. Even this one, the sonar... These things all use the battery quite a bit. Let's try to refrain from that. CTOU. Even the Cyclops itself can reach 500 depth. But I'm guessing it's gonna be in a spot that's hard to reach. Which is where the sea moth would be handy. I didn't bring any food with me today, but I'm pretty sure we have a lot of food in the lockers, right? Ah. Uh, I'm guessing it's the creep vines hitting me. Or I'm hitting the creep vines, really. I didn't look into the decoy stuff, though. If we have enough materials, we can make one right here, but... For now, not extremely worried. <laughs> Things are just banging left and right, left and right. Here's some more mini floating islands. Well, CTOU, I think we know she's not... She's not alive. No one here is. I'm the only one alive. So I'm not really expecting to find too much here today, I guess. If we don't find something here... Oh wow, this is the most bone sharks I've ever seen. Oh frick, there's a gigantic wreck here. This is gigantic, and it's not even the life pod. Engine Just leaving the engine on, does it use power? We went all that way and it didn't even use 1%, but the shield uses like 4-5% to in one go. It's insane. Okie dokie, back on the scanner. We okay? We have a lot of stuff here. The sea moth. We don't need it. We don't need need it. But it's nice for the oxygen. All systems online. Did I just bang on the Cyclops and get hurt from that? Oh my god. That was so fast. Those are some high quality shadows. Whoa, they have a working... Oh! Prawn Soup Propulsion Arm Fragment. There's more arms! More arms than I even realized. So this is no. That's the one we opened. It's kind of crazy how some of the electronics still seem to be working here. But we only have two arms though! <laughs> Nice, though. Propulsion. Not repulsion, though. Hmm. More radio signals? Again? Hmm. 
We had a bit of a lull before, but now they're all coming in again. Which is good. We're finding more wrecks and not people. That's always the sad part. I'm kind of desperate about titanium these days, so I, I'll take everything and anything. By the way, I just realized I have a frame around my screen right now. That's like a... I can change that, right? Hold on, because you can make it so that it's like... Yeah, there's different modes where you can turn off the HUDs and all. Like that. Oh my god, whoa, there's another, another gigantic Pronsu fragment here. Fragment? That's like an actual just whole prawn suit. They really want to give me the propulsion arm. But you can't scan the big one, really? Really? Oh, you can. But it's still only worth two titanium. <laughs> okay, I gotta watch the timing a little bit because we have one minute left. We can't get out of here. Is that a vehicle upgrade module? Oh! PRAWN safety instructions appendix A14. Don't climb on or get off equipment while it's moving. Too late. Broken that rule like 20 times by now. Too freaking late. Alright. Anything in here for now? Put all that in. 30 seconds. Welcome aboard, Captain. Got you, I got you. Hey, why is it 70 right now? Oh, the bone sharks might have been attacking it while I was gone. Is it the light? You better not break. I just upgraded you. I just upgraded you. If you do break, knock on wood. If that does happen, you're not gonna drop the modules, right? It's not gonna let me have it back, I'm pretty sure. So let's try our best to be careful here, and I freaking put my flashlight in the storage, didn't I? I did. So the data terminal didn't actually have a log, it was just a message. Oh, I can get that. But we have this over here. No. Does laser cutting even work underwater normally? Who knows? Who cares? <laughs> Okay. Office chairs, command chairs, innards of the ship, titanium. Not too much going on here. So many arms. Oh, there's another door. Wait, is that just the door? There's no... Oh, that's, that's just the door. Oh, but this is the kind I can kind of like move out, right? That's the... That's the thing, I think. And there's another door here. Whoa! Oh wow, seeing the floater scared me a little bit. That's outside. Frick, it's so dark here already. Alright, one second. Let me get back to my sea moth then. It's on the other side here. This is a big wreck. Oh? Oh! Hi! Ah, you might have been attacking my thing again. We have a perimeter system. You know, don't do anything. Don't touch me. 
There was an interesting little hole here, though. Kind of want to look at that, so maybe I'll park here. Now back to the opening I came from, which I don't even remember where it is anymore. It was around here. Oh, here we go. So can I move stuff away from this and try to... Yeah, I guess so. I guess you can. A little bit more. <laughs> A little bit more. Oh, dear lord. Oh, god. Oh, no! What are you doing here? Are you stuck? I'll save you. Don't worry. Oh my gosh, they just really want to give me that propulsion arm. I mean, sure, I'll take it. I want all the titanium I can get. But in terms of, like, new things here... I don't think we're getting too much of it. Most of the things that we find that are new, I'm guessing is gonna be upgrade modules, not stuff for myself. Nope. I think this is pretty much it. It's pretty much it. This is a big wreck, though. There might be a PDA if I look around more closely. But it's like, oh my god. This is... I'll try to circle around a little bit more. See if there's other openings and stuff. Oh no, my inventory is full already. Okay, one second. Dude, I can't. I've already... Ah! Bah, bra, bra. Stop it. You better stop touching my Seamoth right now, or I'll do something to you. Yeah! Uh, quick Cyclops trip. If I can find my Cyclops. Also need a little bit of food anyway. Oh, I can't. Hold on. Hold on. Just find a locker, any locker, and oh god. Everything is full. Stuff it all in. Oh, the fish. I, I was just gonna rescue you. You can go outside again if you want. I'm not against that. Hmm. Flashlight? Well, we should be okay. Miku? And then... Might as well. Yeah, even this one, if we're not using it, probably having it in the locker of the Cyclops will be better. So we don't actually, you know... Again, knock on wood. If anything bad ever happens, we don't have to lose our entire life savings. Probably put it someplace where I can actually find it though. Yeah. Wait, why do I have this much stuff here? Holy crap. I don't need that many kits. Maybe one. One. And... Okay. Alrighty. Once more. So it doesn't seem like I can repair it from above, but if I go from below... Systems online. Oh my lord. You're just not gonna let me go. You're relentless. Can I go in here? Actually, can I? Hey, what happened to the perimeter system? Don't I have it installed? Do I have to, like, activate it somehow? Actually, not too sure. I don't think you can go in this one. Well, 
What is this? Like, this is like an entire ship. You're telling me this broke off the Aurora? Feels like an entire thing by itself. We were here. Oh, do those glow differently, different colors at night? Oh, this looks kind of promising. I'm not here specifically, but the... I am interested in the little holes. Earlier, I parked my Seamoth in front of one and I didn't even go in. But as far as this actual wreck goes... Earthen coral tubes. Cool. No. This is an area that we haven't really been to, I think. Maybe briefly when I was going to and from places, but not exploration-wise. I don't think I ever have to make food anymore. There's so many supply crates everywhere. Okay, as far as I can tell, I think this is the bulk of it. The main thing is really the propulsion arm that we got for the prawn suit. So at the end over here... Yeah, these are pink, but those are blue. Maybe it's just the, the seawater doing some filtering. Anything cool going on here? Oh, there's more here. My god, I'm never gonna... This is a huge wreck. You gotta stop that, okay? You gotta... Yeah! Get out of here. Did you attack it again? Oh my god. This time the light wasn't even on. Whoa. Oh, it's so spooky when you look at it like this. Spotted dock leaf. I'm just gonna ignore that cave crawler. I'm not here for trouble. I'm not here for trouble, just looking around. Oh lord. No, I guess this was just... Yeah, it's not a special cave. It's just one of the many entrances that go to the bottom of this little island. This island, the material seems to be made out of something interesting. Might as well. Collecting more while we're exploring means less resource gathering later on. This is a new thing though. I kind of wonder if I should take some home. There's multiple of these islands around here. Oh, wow. The Seema? Welcome aboard, Captain. Hmm. I'll drive around a little bit. Look at the little islands. It's getting daytime again. Oh, this looks interesting. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, coming through. No, <laughs> I just went in a loop outside. Hmm, stasis rifle. Lot of little clumps here. If we keep going down, though, I get the feeling that's gonna be the beginning of something bad happening. Oh, I should probably turn off the prawn suit today. <gasps> okay, that was bad timing. <laughs> oh! Oh, it's so deep here. It's so deep here. Do we keep going? Kinda wanna find CTOU first. Where is she? Over there. We'll casually look around while we're here and, you know, gotta make sure we s 
You need to cut that out. This is not yours. This is mine. Like, you're just annoying at this point, okay? You're not that dangerous, but... Kind of annoying. Nine hundred meters deep! We can go really, really far with the Seamoth now. Pretty much dive straight down, and it'll still be okay. <gasps> the floor! Yeah, so those little deposits here, if we were here with the prawn suit, probably we can try to dismantle it. What's that sound? Sizzling geyser somewhere? Oh yeah, there's one here. See, this would be a good spot to build a base or something then. Jeez! Can we look inside? I mean, I don't think we want to though. Okay, that's- well, 40%, 40 percent. 40 Oh, wow. Just gonna try to get away from them first before we try to repair this. Holy crap, 40%. Each hit takes 15%. My lord! Oh no, oh no, oh no. I still gotta do it. Thank goodness the sea moth is a lot more durable. Or not durable, maneuverable than the prawn suit. But I think the prawn suit is probably more durable. Should probably have brought my cyclops here. Later on we're gonna have to trek back a whole bunch. Oh. Oh, there's more of this stuff. Hey, now with the sea moth, we can go back to that one place and explore properly. You again? Deep shrooms? Gabe's feather? A gigantic blood vine? What do you want? Hmm. Maybe because the prawn suit is slower, it kind of gives off the impression we don't run out of energy that quickly. But with a sea moth? Oh god. With a sea moth, it does seem to be going by a little bit faster. Oh, is that what the top of the blood vines look like? That seems like a trap. Maybe we shouldn't touch it. Here we are. Of course. Let's see if I can try to, like, find a way to evade it first. He's still around here. Life pod 2. Data. I think someone's getting ready to greet me outside. Whoa, that's a little bit too close, man. Haven't you heard of social distancing? Oh my lord. <laughs> it flies so far away. Okay, I don't think we even found a... No, not again. Not again. The squid is here, too! If the squid sends out an EMP wave, the sea moth is done. It's not gonna work anymore, right? Oh my freaking god! I don't think we found a data box in there, just a... PDA, right? Oh, frick. Ah, Jesus, there's another one! Wait, wait. Ah, ampules! Ampules! 
This seems like a similar biome to the one that we came across before. Okay, you know what? I need to bring the Cyclops here. Mm, we have the beacon. I'm gonna turn it back on again because I wanna... I wanna be here. Oh, it's, it's still on. Okay, good. Don't they usually turn off by themselves once I've found the place already? Oh, I went a little bit too far without my... Cyclops. I'm gonna bring the Cyclops right on top of this place and keep looking down. We can go 900 meters now without having to worry about not being able to jump back up and whatever. So that's definitely pretty good. But the squid and the warpers... Oh, man. I don't really feel like my life gets threatened by them, but they're so... They're kind of annoying. Definitely. And they can catch you off guard. The warper didn't seem that big from a distance, but when it's right next to you, holy frick, man, that thing was like... That thing's bigger than me. It was like twice my size. Yeesh. 